now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. We are stuck with that rinse and repeat type of pattern, and because we've already received more than two inches of rain across much of the Susquehanna Valley, any additional rain is going to cause some problems. That's why we do have a flood watch in effect through Thursday morning for the entire Susquehanna Valley. If we do see some flooding, it's likely going to be minor. It's the small creeks and streams that has the highest chance for the flooding. They may overflow their banks. Larger rivers should be able to handle this rainfall that's coming in through the night tonight in the next couple of days. Also some poor uh, drainage and some street flooding like you saw there from McKenna. That's also a possible issue outside right now. The rain continues to come down, but it's at a light to moderate intensity. It's going to stay this way for the next couple of hours. Right now it's 47 degrees in Lancaster and the saving grace for the threat for severe weather today. We kept cloudy and cool thanks to the winds coming in from the east. So there it is on live local 8 radar. You can see that rain moving back in from the west. We do have some heavier rain back towards Pittsburgh, towards Morgantown. Now the track of this is going to lift off to the north and to the east, but I do expect the rain to get a little bit more intense as we get closer to dawn as all of this rain that's back over eastern Ohio and northern West Virginia. That's due in as we head through tomorrow as the storm system slowly works its way to the east and a Eventually, we'll start to see the rain taper off about this time tomorrow. So more of the same rain and drizzle, lots of clouds, mild and breezy wind gusts overnight tonight, anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per hour with temperatures hovering in the low to mid 40s. Steady rain with winds increasing tomorrow morning up to near 35 miles per hour, and then eventually we'll see the rain continue and it will allow for some thunder showers to form and look for breezy conditions with highs up near 50 degrees. The rain chances will start to finally wind down after sunset into the early overnight hours. So once all is said and done, I think much of the valley should anticipate in total for the past couple of days, including tomorrow, anywhere from about three to possibly four or even five inches of rain. Here's a look at the weather and health. The pollen count is low thanks to that heavy rainfall, but mold counts are elevated. Air quality will be at a good level and thanks to thick cloud cover. Not worried about a sunburn. Here's a look at the rainfall totals over the past 24 hours. Columbia, you've picked up more than two and a half inches of rain. Paxtonia now over two inches of rain from this storm system, 1.8 nine inches of rain in Dover, 1.82 inches of rain in northern Lancaster County in Akron. Now, some of our creeks and streams are rising and where you see the orange dots along the Swatera, the yellow breaches, the Conada Gwinnett, it's expected to go above flood stage, so some minor flooding and these rivers are expected to crest late Wednesday night or early Thursday morning and then start to drop as we begin to dry back out. Made it to 50 for our high today and for the calendar date, we've picked over just a little over an inch. It's 46 right now in Harrisburg, 47 in Carlisle. There's that warmer air off to the west. So watch what happens here on the predictor. You can see waves of rain as we head through the night and becoming a bit more widespread as we head towards dawn. Then we're talking pop rounds of rain, possibly moderate heavy at times through tomorrow evening and then heading into Thursday. We'll start to see that drier air move on in and we'll see the rain finally start to push out of the Susquehanna Valley. Temperatures do start to climb again. We're back into the lower 50s for your Friday and Saturday, but isolated rain or snow showers mixing in with that rain will be possible for Friday and possibly on a Thursday as well. Look for that warmer weather, calmer weather as we start next week with highs back in the mid 60s to near 70 degrees.